Hello, it's Rupert from RJ Blackwells. Um, today we're going to look at the new um, Blaza K95 Ultimate. Um, this is a, a rifle that's been launched not that long ago. Um, it hasn't seen much in the way of marketing yet and it's fairly hot off the press. Um, this rifle is a, it's a single shot thumb hole, synthetic. Now, not that long ago they, they released a, a carbon Ultimate but this is the non-carbon version, uh, which is at a, a, a significantly uh, less price uh, than the carbon. Um, but it's it's got loads of um, versatile and practical aspects about it that makes it very functional. Um, and one of the key key things is the stock. So some of you might know of the um, the ultimate stock on the R8, and it's basically very similar to that. It's, it's identical. So you've got uh, an adjustable comb, uh, which has got a, a memory system in there, so you can preset uh, um, your, your height settings to what you want. You've also got uh, an adjustable uh, uh, length of pull, and, and also you can adjust your, your pitch on this as well. So um, you're up and down by just squeezing the little button here at the back. And you can, as you can see, you can drop it, and you can you can alter your uh, your, your re, alter your toe measurement uh, to how it fit, fits and sits into your face and your shoulder to your face and shoulder. Um, the the measurements on this this particularly is um, you've got about an inch and a quarter uh, of uh, of length measurement. So the total stock length measurement at the moment is from 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 this position is 14 and a quarter and it goes to 15 and a half. So for you guys who need that sort of length, extra length of pull, um, you, you've got plenty there. 15 and a half inch stock on a rifle is quite a serious length of pull. The adjustable comb, uh, it goes up about an inch, just over an inch. You've got an inch, inch worth of uh, adjustable comb and which will cover again, basically anybody. Uh, this this is the this K95 obviously is it's the single shot rifle and I think practically is a hunting rifle. Uh, you can you, you you can use this more than what most people in the UK realise. So for stalking uh, in, in in forestry, if you know, just lovely little rifle for going for row or muntjac or that sort of stuff. But you can do far far more than that with it. Um, and and if you want something light just to go on the hill to take you know to, to go and go and shoot those um, stags or hinds. Um, it, again, it, it's it's really really a really sensible rifle to take. No weight to it whatsoever. The the safety on this particular rifle, it is a push safety, so it's a decocking safety, and you just you basically just push it all the way up, and and um, that cocks the rifle, and then you just pull it back, which you've got to be a little bit careful about because it can come back with a snap, as you can hear, but. Um, you, you, it'll also uncock when you open the top lever. So if we do it, and that will bring it back to safety immediately. Uh, the trigger pull, the, the K95 trigger pull, uh, is one pound eight ounces. It's a one pound eight ounce trigger pull. Um, and it's, it is really crisp. Um, I, again, blaser, blaser trigger pulls, I, I do feel they've got it right with the, with the trigger pull weight. It's there's that you can you have got that whole that whole point of being able to make a decision, shoot the rifle or not shoot the rifle, and there's enough there's enough weight there where you can put your finger on, and if you don't want it, if you're not happy with the shot, you can say no to it. It's not that light. It sounds lighter than what it is. The the mounts on the K95, they're exactly the same as a blazer mount. So. The K95 mount is just rocks on uh, like a blazer and rocks off. So if you've got existing, you're a blazer user, you, you just you can just interchange your blazer mounts. They offer a, a huge, wide range of, of calibers in the K95, and, um, and my last count was I think I think 27, but I think there even might be 28. So I think there is a 6.5 Creedmoor uh, coming in. This particular rifle is actually in 308, but um, barrel lengths. Um, in centimeters, there's a 52 um, uh, 52 centimeter barrel. There is a 60 centimeter barrel. Um, there's a 65 centimeter barrel, and on one of the calibers, they even do a 70 uh, centimeter barrel. 
So you've got sort of, you know, you've got a wide range of bow lengths, and I think it maybe might be a 56 centimeter bow. Uh, so you've got sort of 20 and a half inches all the way up to sort of, um, uh, t you know, t 24 and a half inch bow lengths for the, for, for, for the majority of the calibers, for the, for the magnums. And they do do magnum calibers in this. So, you know, things like 300 Win Mag and, and, uh, and the larger calibers. So for those who are looking for like a rifle for, for doing mountain work or, um, or doing long range work, you know, and you, you want that sort of fast, hard hitting caliber and you take that single shot, this, the K95, that's what it's built for really. It's built for that sort of lightweight rifle to go and carry and, and take that crucial long range shot. They're incredibly accurate. Um, and I've shot a number of them over the years, uh, and and they are they do shoot incredibly well. They they mechanically uh, they're quite re they're quite well they're quite well put together. They got like a torsion bar system here, so that it keeps the barrel always tight into the action, and uh, it's on like a cam system which can be adjusted through the fore end here, and um, you can strip the rifle down very simply. You can just buy. It's literally just like a shotgun. You just whip it out there, and you can interchange barrels as well. So if you've got, uh, you know, another caliber, you can order the rifle in several calibers. Uh, so again, it gives you the ability. It doesn't have to be just a one caliber rifle if you don't want it to be. I think you know over here a lot of people probably select a caliber and they'll just use that specific caliber for 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 you know for that for the hunt or the shooting that they want to do with it. Um, in, in the ultimate, uh, from what I can gather, it's just a round bow at the moment, but you know, Blaza being Blaza, they wouldn't surprise me if they give you an option of a different of a different barrel profile. But for the currently for the synthetic stock, they've just got a round barrel uh, channel, but I wouldn't surprise me if you wanted a special order or something, they might even do that. Uh, and they, they do offer Optican barrels as well. Um, and it, you know they do obviously offer some fantastic wooden stock rifles, and those are the ones I've actually seen majority. Um, price wise, yeah, it's still fairly hot for the press, and I'm just waiting to sort of get that price. Um, but I do know it's not nearly as significant, it, nearly the same price as the carbon. Um, and you know, actually, one other key point I totally forgot to say: these are they are threaded, which is a 15 by one thread on the end. We'll just quickly put this back in. Just got to be a little bit careful how you do it. And and the nice thing is, is you know, again with this rifle, it is a takedown rifle, so we can pack it into a tiny little like shotgun carry case. Um, and so you, you you know little little flat little flat travel case um, takes up no space whatsoever. Um, I I think I think again in the UK we are. We, we haven't really caught up to, to using rifles like this to the extent that the Europeans do. Um, and I think we, we, we could be making far more advantage of, of, of rifles like this. And I think they, for a lot of the stalking we are doing, you know, realistically, especially, especially us, you know, if you're going after your rope, doing roebuck and muntjac stalking, you know, how often do you fire multiple shots and a little single shot rifle actually isn't, you can be pretty quick as well. You know, a little bit of practice with your reloading, it's not difficult to get the round out and put another round in. They aren't an ejector, so you know some people um, uh, think they're ejector. And I have to say, if it was an ejector, I think it would probably make it even a, it would make it qu quite attractive to a lot more people, uh, just because some people do find with the way this system is, it's depending on the size of your fingers, it can be a little bit tricky. But if you're selective in your calibers and um, and spend a little bit of time practicing using it, it's you can be very quick and efficient reloading it. I um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and if you have any queries, please do not hesitate to contact Rupert at RJ Blackpools. Thank you very much.